Thanks for staying with us at half past the hour. With teachers wrapping up the first week of public school, many are finding that students want to talk about the pandemic. It's really the elephant in every classroom. And one teacher authored a new book to deal with that delicate topic of loss. Henry Charles is a teacher at Cultural Arts Academy Charter School in Brooklyn. He lost both of his parents to COVID and uses his latest book, In the Sky, as a teaching tool. Mr. Charles, thanks for your time tonight. Very sorry to learn that you lost both your mom and your dad to COVID. Tell us about how your book, In the Sky, honors them. Um, hi, how you doing? Uh, thank you for having me. Well, um... My, my book in the sky is about my son and so i could have easily written a book about how COVID affected me but i think that um when when my son grows up that uh him noticing that that his grandparents aren't there like that is really going to affect him even more because growing up in a haitian household i was able to see how how my parents how they took care of their parents until their parents passed away you know, and so um, my son, he, he won't be able to get to see that. You know, um, he, he, he won't be able to see um, the love and the compassion that I had for my parents. Yeah. But um, um, with this book, you know, um, I think he'll, he'll be able to get the idea. Yeah, I'm very sorry. Again, it's such a painful time for so many New Yorkers and Americans at large. Yeah. As a veteran educator with 20 years experience, is it difficult to talk with students about this ongoing pandemic? Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because, you know, the big debate right now is um, should I get vaccinated or or should I wait or should I just not, you know, um, the the vaccination part, I just leave that alone. That 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 is a personal decision. But I try to let my, my scholars know that it's very important for them to wear their mask and to wash their hands and to stay socially distanced, even though uh, we are we are in a school setting and it's very hard to because it's been a year since they've seen their friends. Mm. So, you know, um, the mask wearing and uh, uh, staying social distance, that is something that I let them know all the time. Yeah, and how do you talk to them about loss? Because we know that so many children right here in New York City have lost aunts and uncles, grandparents, yeah. and so forth. How do you talk to them about that? Um, well, 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 I like to share uh, my my own experiences because that is how I bond with my students. I'm very open with them. So I let them know um, the things that I went through. And so uh, uh, from there, then... then then their questions begins a um, conversation um, uh, for the other class. I mean, uh, for 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 the students within the classroom. So 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 uh, what I like to do is just like put put my business out there first, <laughs> and then whatever questions that are generated, then I let each other. You know, um, then 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 I just let them answer each other's questions. You know, you mentioned uh, students and the hand washing and social distancing and so forth. How do you keep them calm and engaged with their studies during such a frightening time? Well, um, I I try to make sure that 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 when it comes down to the work, that that everything is you know um, um, the same. Um, the work is what keeps their mind off of things because the work is what's normal when you're in a school setting. So um, the the rigor is still there, um, the 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 curriculum is still there. So 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 I feel like they they've been wanting to come back to school. The 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 work is like the normalcy of everything because when you're in school, you know. We, we 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 try not to think about the elephant in the room even though we all have masks and uh we all have to use hand sanitizer all the time but i think that um the work that is being given that is like the x factor because everyone wants to go back to normal so bad but it starts with the work that is being given and um that, that just takes their mind off of things. Henry Charles, author of In the Sky, good luck with your book and with your students. Appreciate your time tonight. Uh, thank you very much. And can I say one more thing, Cheryl, please? Go ahead. Oh, um, 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 my, my father's been selling his, my, my father's been celebrating his birthday for the past um, 20 years. 
And so I would like to say thank you very much for having me because today is my father's oh, birthday. Oh, wow. And so I would like to say thank you for that. Wow. It was meant to be. Again, Henry, yes. thank you so much. All right. Thank you.